So, Rick, when it comes to these Super Bowl commercials, Super Bowl, Super Bowl, coming right yeah. up, are advertisers who spend all that money to do all of those big splashy commercials, are they really looking for sales or are they looking for brand awareness? Well, that depends on their strategy, on what's their projected ROI. Why are they doing this? There's a lot of reasons to do it. But most advertisers know that you don't really get a lot of direct sales from a Super Bowl spot. Right, they're more about like something to talk about and... and right, a large percentage of people are looking at uh, Super Bowl commercials for entertainment, not for purchasing, right? Around Christmas, you're watching Christmas, you're watching ads for purchase. Who's got the sale on the drill? How much is that car? My wife would love one of those new crock pots, just like I gave her last year, only I don't remember. You know, those are the kind of things, but that's not what Super Bowl ads are. They're, they're there for shock and awe and for entertainment and to be that. So are they looking for sales or brand awareness? A lot of times it's really brand awareness, they're looking for some kind of a lift. Uh, I think um, Budweiser, I don't know, it was last year or year before, they got a point one six lift in sales. And they, I think they had three spots on the Super Bowl. So oh, point, they usually do a lot. So point one six is not, it's not even 1%. That's not a big number. But it's a big enough number for them to stay top of mind because right now we're talking about Budweiser and not Coors, Heineken, you know, all these other brands that are out there. We're talking about Budweiser because we all know Budweiser has the dog and the like horse horses, and the beautiful the feel good commercial. There's actually there's been one Super Bowl commercial that I've ever seen that I really wish I had done and I got called to do it and I wasn't available. And it was one of the simplest things of all time. It was the horses in, out in the field, and they're playing football, and they kick the one horse kicks the football, and it goes over the. Uh, oh. No, <laughs> it wasn't a goal. It was the telephone lines, but they shot like in Montana or Wyoming or somewhere, you know. And so it just, and it was just, it was just a really cool, simple spot. I don't know why I always. Like, like, uh, I wish I could have done that spot because, you know, of course the horse's leg was fake and, you know, I mean, the football was oversized. I mean, there's all these other things that went into it. All the, the, the reality right. of the behind the scenes. <laughs> but it was just, I just thought it was this really awesome commercial that, you know, I wish I'd have done. Uh, but that, let's go back to, are they looking for brand or, or, or sales? Are they looking for brand awareness or sales? I think a lot of times it's brand awareness because what's that statistic on social media? Which one? Uh, after a Super Bowl airs, they get like oh, like like ten thousand or twenty thousand mentions. Yeah, I mean that's a lot. So you can't, you know, you're, so you're buying that. You're you're buying a lot more you're, things than just a Super you're Bowl. You're buying awareness and you're buying attention, and attention is the most scarcest is is the scarcest commodity anymore. Right, and so in that Super Bowl, uh, in the in the realm of Super Bowls, they show somewhere between eighty to a hundred spots. Depends on if they're thirty second or sixty mm -hmm. second, or how long the game is. I mean, so there's other factors that go into it, but that turns into somewhere close to three thousand seconds, give or take, on either side of, of that number. So three thousand seconds is what you've got in that four and a half hours thereabouts of Super Bowl, and the spots that are. Super Bowl ads count from the first ad in the first quarter to the last ad in the last quarter. The pregame doesn't count, the aftergame uh, doesn't count. So you'll never sense. see the pregame, the same commercials in the Super Bowl you saw in the pregame because they, they saved them. But you might see them after the game. Right, because you were saying that uh, people have already, well, I mean, the prime spot is the opening ad. Right. And people are buying that months in advance. Right. I mean, come on. Who's not sitting there like this, waiting for that first ad? You don't care about the play. You don't care about the kickoff. You want to see the first ad. We were at a bar last year, and there was hundreds of people there. And it was so funny because, I mean, we're in Mexico, and everybody is watching the TV for the ads. Right. They didn't know about the teams. They didn't care. But everybody in the bar was watching the ads, oh, and everybody was talking teams. about it. <laughs> I know. I, it was a big game. <laughs> <laughs> Go Eagles. <laughs> Uh, but th the thing is, is that brand awareness is a huge part of marketing. And a lot of times people don't realize the importance of just brand awareness versus a sale. Right. So hey, let's talk about small business videos and, you know, small business videos doing brand awareness videos. Like what kinds of, of videos are those? Okay. So like we have a, a chiropractor client. Right, mm -hmm. and we do videos, and we and Jen does writing for him, and I do the videos for him. And some of the topics are 
Oh, like how chiropractic care can help your sciatica, it right? Can help relieve sciatica pain, things like that. That's not saying come in and let me help you, and we got this special deal right now. That's just a brand awareness. Here, this is a problem. I'm the doctor that can help you, and he's, you know, it's, the video has the logo on it, and it's got his phone number on it. But it's not a direct call to action. It's just kind of an awareness, uh, right. top of mind. But it's also an educational Absolutely. piece to it. So I wouldn't call it strictly brand awareness. No, but a lot of these things, even educational pieces, can be brand awareness, mm -hmm. as long as you're branding them in some way. So that brand awareness is a huge component to it. You know, Coke spends a billion dollars a year or more now on advertising, or all, in general, all advertising. And the thing is, not all of it is buy the 64 ounce, buy the 12 pack, six ounce cans, buy the, buy, you know, it, it's, it's never the buy, but it's always their brand awareness. Right, you know, like they don't, the whole make, Coke makes you feel good commercials or right. whatever those, those, that campaign was back in the day. Right. So is it brand awareness? Is it, is it, is it the money? I think Super Bowl ads are really a lot more about brand awareness and less about the actual sale. Right, but small business owners can be creating videos that have a component of both for a lot less money, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, corporations do this all the time also. Right. They've got tons of videos out there, uh, but it's not just buy my new pipe widget. The better ones are not, right? Like traditional like B2B uh, educational video content <laughs> is, is, is educational. Well, it is. I mean, don't even get me started about storytelling and how storytelling is better than selling a lot of times. So the classic example I use is the 15 second McDonald's commercial. Mom's driving, kid in the back is crying, mom sees golden arches, cut to kid eating french fries, right? They didn't say french fries today, 49 cents, or when your kid's hungry, come in. That's the story of everybody knows who's ever had a kid knows that story. And so that story has a happy ending for, for the kid. The mom's like, feeling bad about going to McDonald's maybe, but she did it. Because <laughs> she was just And <laughs> McDonald's knows that already. I'm not saying anything like bad about McDonald's. They know their audience doesn't always want to go there, but they are convenient. And they their advertising has been consistent through the years of convenience, convenience, convenience. Oh yes. So yeah, which always goes back to your brand. What is it you stand for? But that's a whole nother video. But Right. But it's all part of the brand awareness. You know that McDonald's ad is a brand awareness. Great. You know, like our chiropractor client, he stands for, you know, um, he stands for chiropractic care. He stands for good, what he refers to as old-fashioned care in the modern world. And, you know, it's, you know, he's personal and he wants you to make sure that, that you have good health. Right. He's, he doesn't he doesn't ask for the sale directly in the videos we've done, but he has brand awareness. And we do talk about things, you know, he's a second generation chiropractor. So he grew up hearing the stories around the dinner table about being a chiropractor right. and helping people. And that's his, he wants to help people feel better. Right. And that's very important. Yeah. So your brand, your brand awareness is good. Super Bowl commercials, I think, mostly are brand awareness ads. They're there for bragging rights. They're there to get that extra lift after the Super Bowl that happens with the long tail. Uh, and right, which we'll talk about more in another video. Yeah. The long tail. The long tail effect of doing video. Yeah. Maybe we'll do that one next. All right. Sounds good. All right. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this one.